So I'm taking an informal poll. Let me know your answer down below. Do you have a cushion in your budget? Obviously we do, because the title of the video says that we have a cushion, and I'm gonna talk to you about why we have it, but I'm just wondering, are we the only ones, or do other people have cushions in their budget? Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. This is my husband, Mauricio, and my daughter, Melina. She's six. We are on a journey to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt. It's a long journey in the baby step two that never ends. Seriously. So if you are interested in becoming a part of this community, we would love to have you. And I would love it if you would click that big old red subscribe button down below. So if you're new to my channel, you may not know about our category that shall not be named. This one. I cannot say what it is because I don't want to get dinged by YouTube. So just know when I refer to the category that shall not be named, I'm talking about this. Why do we call it that? Well, because basically this is the category for things that come up that we hadn't planned for that we've done anyway. And therefore we have technically failed in our budget and therefore are, you know. So we put $100 in this category every month. Why do we do that? Pretty much five reasons why we have a cushion category. Number one, stuff is gonna come up always. No matter how good I get at this budget, it seems that stuff will always come up and surprise me. I am not even kidding you. And a lot of times it has to do with Melina and things that I didn't know she was going to need money for. And sometimes it's Mauricio and sometimes it's me, but it's, there's stuff constantly changing in our lives and things are coming up that we didn't anticipate. And so this little tiny cushion that we have in our budget really helps us cover those expenses. Number two, because things are gonna happen the month before you think they're gonna happen. What do I mean by that? For example, next month, Melina has a friend who's going to have a birthday, but she decided to have her birthday party this month. So it happened, I got the invitation in the mail and I was not prepared with the budget. So I went ahead and used some cushion money to roll in a birthday gift. Number three, because my husband, God love him, doesn't always grasp the concept of no money, no buy. Seriously, he knows we operate on a zero-based budget and sometimes he just buys stuff anyway. It's okay, because that's why the cushion is there. Although sometimes I think he goes ahead and buys them because he actually knows the cushion is there, but you know, hey, six of one, half dozen of the other. Number four, because sometimes a lot, we actually overspend on groceries. And it usually comes up, there's like some big meal that I'm super excited about making. Last week, it was Buddha bowls. I was super excited about making these awesome Buddha bowls for my lunch. And they required several kind of strange ingredients that involved a trip to Whole Foods. And it ended up being a lot more expensive. It was not a money-saving meal. It was a healthy meal, but it was not a money-saving meal. Number five, fast food. Not even gonna lie. There are times where we just need to eat out. And so we try and go cheaply, but sometimes we just have to eat on the go. And we have no restaurant budget, zero. Uh, previously, if Mauricio and I wanted to eat out with coworkers, we would use our blow money for that, but the rest of our budget is zero. So let me know if you have a cushion category. Do you call it something funny? Should you call it something funny? I feel like, yeah, I need to be reminded that, that I am a when I overspend or when we overspend. Melina just got back from visiting a friend of hers and- Hey, David. No, you can't say her name, okay? Hi. We don't say her name on YouTube because we're not her mommy and daddy. So we let you be on YouTube, but we don't wanna talk about our other friends on YouTube. Mm. So Melina just got back from her friend's house and now we are going to go take her to get her beautiful bangs cut. And then I get to get up my first 
bikini. Mauricio is not excited about a bikini, but he found some bikinis that he's okay with because Melina has been begging for a bikini because all her friends wear bikinis. So we're going more with a tankini. Okay, so let's go get your hair cut. Can you say goodbye to the folks? And smash that subscribe button in three, two, one. And if you haven't yet, please do it now. Bye-bye. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.